What's up, guys, and welcome to Autobahn Police Simulator 3. That's right, baby. We are going to be enforcing the European law, baby. Let's get it. The Autobahn is a world-famous highway system in Germany. A lot of you guys probably know it because it's got no speed limit in some sections. Some have a speed limit. Other ones have a suggested speed, which is, I think, around 80 miles an hour. But uh, technically, you can go as, as fast as you want, which is... It's pretty crazy, but just because there's no speed limit doesn't mean that there aren't laws to follow. There aren't rules to enforce, and that's where we come in. This game's been on my, my Steam wish list for a while. I don't know. I figure we can check it out. I don't know if this is going to be a full series. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we like it. It's kind of a smaller, you know, not like a big AAA game, but uh, sometimes you find some hidden gems. So we've got our character selection here. We've got uh, some genders and different outfits and things to choose from. I like this guy. I like the little zip-up hoodie thing. He's got some converses on. It's not bad. Lock it in. Let's get it. Let's get to work here at the station. I'm going to be honest. I have no clue how European policing works. Probably a lot, a lot nicer than here in the States. Glad to see I wasn't forgotten. How could we? Your last day of duty was etched painfully into everyone's memory. I know. We've been off duty. It's the same for me. Some of us didn't think you'd come back after the accident. I mean, that was quite a story. Nah, I've only just started here. I'm not quitting my job that easily. Sounds like you've already made plans. Are you planning to catch the racers yourself? Street you racers. You haven't caught them yet? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, I that's don't cool. have better news for you. These guys always seem to be one step ahead of us. If that's the case, why are we still hanging around here? Well, that's what I call a proper work ethic. Put on your uniform and come and see the governor. The governor, eh? All right, here we go, dude. Street racers. So we've got a bit of a a bit of a storyline happening here. They got us into an accident. We had to take some time off work. It sounds like we were fairly fresh to the beat, and uh, and now we're gonna get suited and booted, and we're we're gonna try to take it back to them. Enter the office. Go see the governor, eh? Good morning, governor. You have your tea and crumpets uh, this morning. Are. Welcome back. Did you have a good time recovering? Beans I am on back toast. Shape again. Just took a while, unfortunately. However, I would feel even better if you'd let me take this case. I want to put a stop to the races. I certainly understand that, but I can't allow it. I beg you. They almost killed me in one of their competitions. They stop at nothing and nobody. That is exactly the point. You don't have enough experience yet to take on these people. I have to agree with the governor on this one. They're a whole gang of criminals. With your current rank, you wouldn't stand a chance, even if today wasn't your first day. So we gotta rank so, up. What can I gotta do get some experience to be able to take them on. Then. I got a stolen vehicle report. That would be a good place to start. Will you take the case? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's make sure that the owner gets his vehicle back. Who am I working with? Hasn't anyone told you yet? You two <laughs> will be working together from now on. Um, okay. And what about... Oh, come on. I'm not that unbearable. Let's go. All right, so we got a new assignment. We've got okay, a new then. partner. Do we just shoot off, or is there anything else I have to be briefed on? Of course there is, and I never just shoot off. Well, then it's a good thing I'm going to drive. I am allowed to, aren't I? For now, as long as you stick to the highway code. Okay. All right, then, moving on. We know what type of vehicle it is, but the registration number has most likely been swapped. This means we'll have to check all vehicles of the same make and model. So, a classic traffic check? In a way. After all, we are looking for a specific car, but that doesn't stop us from reporting other defects. Understood. I'm driving. All right, let's get out there, baby. Go get in our car. So we are going to be looking for a stolen vehicle. We're just going to be doing some traffic checks, protecting the public. Making sure everything is on the up and up. Go out this way. How you doing, ma'am? Uh, through here? I think it might be out, outside. I'm assuming the car is going to be out back, like in a, a parking lot or something like that. But yeah, this could be fun, man. We, we played some police sims on the channel in the past. Ooh, look at this thing, baby. We got the Beamer station wagon. Hoo-wee! I bet this thing's actually pretty quick, too. Accelerate, brake and reverse, steer. We've got headlights, signals, a horn. Test that thing out. There's our lights. We've got our blinkers that we can use as well. Looks like everything is fit and ready to go. And here we go. It is time to go take on the world. Gonna take a left. 
to the autobahn we go baby probably the most famous highway in the world seriously it's it's insane man i have driven on it once one time what's been going on nissan Mark? invited me out when the gtr what first came out it was insane there have been no major arrests or spectacular cases recently and well have there's to a have suggested 120. just make sure you don't sound too enthusiastic Otherwise, people might think that you would much rather have a partner with more experience. The, the white circle with the line through it, that means no speed limit. And already we have something in common. It's time to go, baby. If it continues like this, we're sure to become besties. Yeah, right. Now concentrate. We have to find the stolen car. Uh-oh. Traffic control. Driving the same lane. We're going to pull them over. Speak to the driver. Going to have to take a look at their papers and resting times for truck drivers. You can administer tests. Check their lights, badge, trunk, and the tread depths. Walk around. Check if the freight's secured. Include your check. You can let them go on. You can take them into the police station, okay, stuff like that. All right. Look around. The vehicle we're looking for should be here somewhere. How about that blue one there? This guy? That fits the description we were given. All right. So we're looking for a... Oop. We're looking for a blue... A small blue vehicle. I'm going to try to pull this guy over. We're pulling him over in three seconds. But yeah, man, one of the things they do so well over there is like the left lane is actually the fast lane. Meant for like passing and things and people actually pay attention to that. Here in the U.S., it's just free for all. You'll see people camping over there all the time. How Good afternoon. are Good you afternoon. doing, sir? Did I do something wrong? I've stopped you for a check. He's got a highway hat on, bro. What, are you, what are you doing? license and registration. Enrico Mueller. So it looks like that that matches the name. He's got a B class license, which is up here. And I would say the face does match the ID. Everything looks fine. So his papers are good, but it does want us to I investigate will check your the vehicle. vehicle and the boot. Please wait a moment. Okay. So it said check the tread depths on the front axle. No reports. Okay, so the, the two is good. Check the rear axle. Two is good. All axles have been inspected. It said to check the boot. Stamp the year and the expiry is in the middle. Final month is at the top. Recently means the expiry date is not more than two months in the past. 822 is where he should be, right? And it's currently June. So he's good. He's, he's valid on that, I believe. Answered correctly on the MOT badge. Anything over here? We said check the boot. Can we actually... Hmm. All of those are good. So we can check his lights. Can we check his front lights? Ah, there it is. Headlights are not working. Indicators are working. So the headlights... He's got his headlights out. Thank you for your patience. I'm gonna say probably fine. I have to impose a fine. It looks like we missed one of the violations, though. We got a defected light, but I'm not sure what we missed. We got it, though. All right. One out of two is not bad for our first stop. We'll take it. Got to make sure these streets are safe. You definitely need headlights in the middle of the day. That's worth a fine. Maybe, hmm. you know, a warning could have... That was obviously not a success. What's sufficed, but... Keep driving. The vehicle we're looking for has to be somewhere. Okay. Calling all cars. The stolen car has been sighted. Oh, it's time. That must be ours. We'll get him. Well, Let's go, baby. One, can you get us a position where the car was last sighted? Here you go. But you have to hurry if you want to catch up with him. Understood. Put your foot down. Don't oh. worry, baby. I'm a professional. No, yes, you may. Get a move on. All right. Here we go. Can we turn our lights on? Close lane, switch off, hold up traffic. Is there... Blue lights? Yes, sir. Let's go. Time to ride out. Si you you can use the siren within city limits. I think so, is that what it said? We are partners now. We've been through that. Not a talkative one, are you? Just keep your eyes on the road. I can drive and talk at the same time, can't you? I can, believe it or not. Small talk is just not really my thing. I would never have noticed. <laughs> well, that's why I mentioned it. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be honest. The driving is is not easy. It is very very floaty and boaty. I'm trying not to pinball off these things. Trying my best. We're good, baby. Kind of going over the lines a little bit, but we're good. That's the one we're looking for. There it is. Here we go. Already got my lights on. Now we're gonna go ahead and select stop the car. 
Driver you stopped is escaping. Stop the vehicle before they can get away. Do this by either driving in front of the vehicle to cut it off or repeatedly ramming them until the driver gives up and stops. Observe the progress of this chase at the top of the screen. After the car chase, park near the fugitive so you can arrest them. All right. Get away. Get him Boom! Him, you cut him off. All right. Here we go. Oh, the music changed. But, dude, this... <laughs> We're hardly getting any frames and things. I would... Do we, do we have more speed than this? Come on, baby. I'm going to maybe try getting in front of him. I got him. I got him. He's, he's stuck behind the car. He's taking off on us, but we got this German engineering under the hood. Let's go, baby. Get over, sir. Get over right now. I said pull over. Pull over, sir. I am arresting you for resisting arrest and endangering other road users. We pulled the... But you've been tailgating me, and now you're arresting me for it. We pulled the strap on him. Let's go. If this is the wrong guy, that's going to be really embarrassing. But he did run, so either way, he's in trouble. They have a cage in the back Fox of the car. Trot one to dispatch. This is dispatch. But not in the front. We've got the car thief and the stolen car. Like not between the passengers and the, the, the front seats. Understood. We'll take care of it. Thank you. See you soon. All right. Well, not too bad for your first day. That almost sounded like a compliment. Because it was one. You stopped the stolen vehicle almost professionally. So still only almost. There's always room for improvement. If you say so, let's take our new friend to the station. Sounds good to me. I'm going to make sure it's the wildest ride he's ever had in the back seat, baby. It sounds a little sus, but we're okay. Let's take it to the station. Cook him and book him. Dude, look at this countryside, man. This is so beautiful. Just cruising through the back roads, no speed limit, just enjoying trees and nature and things like that. <laughs> okay, well, the stop signs don't break. Time to be a little more, a little more careful. Use our uh, blinkers and things, and we are back here at the station. So it sounds like we've got, you know, kind of free reign. You can just roam around and do your thing and try to find, you know, infractions and people to take care of and that kind of thing. Looks like we've got fast travel. Let me take a look. So we've got this progress thing. It's showing our tech trees. Interesting. All right. So this is actually pretty deep. Pat one cow? Successfully complete the mission. Animal road hazard. Drive five kilometers in any car. This is a special mission. I think, I think that might be the animal road hazard mission. It said in our up, upgrade screen that we had that. So I'm going to place a marker on that. We can go do that. Do we have to buy these upgrades or how does this, this work? You need to buy it for five. Oh, so you buy it with XP. So this here is going to give us car performance, better top speed and acceleration. Sounds good. Where do we see our XP? Oh, XP is here. We can unlock the police SUV, performance upgrades. We can get the police helicopter, the unmarked car, the van. Okay. We can even, oh, we can work on our combat. Ammunition, weapons reload faster. We have a gun? I guess we pulled the gun on them there. We didn't have to use it. We've got uh, authority, more authority, opens more dialogue options, peace and empathy. Ooh, that's good. All police officers need a lot of empathy, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Can we max that out? Let's max that out. Empathy too. Movement speed. I guess some authority can't help. Sometimes you got to lay down the law, you know what I mean? All right, so there's, there's a bit of a skill tree thing happening here. I'm going to take a left out of the station. Get over here. It's kind of fun to play by the traffic rules. There's not enough traffic in Orlando. I really like playing games where I've got to sit in traffic virtually too. Calling all cars. We are looking for a blue estate car. The driver is said to have robbed a jeweler in the city and is now fleeing via the A55. Who is in the vicinity? All right, somebody else has got that. I'm going to go ahead. Let's turn on the cherries and berries. And I'm, I'm just going to blow through the light. I can, I've seen countless cops do that. Got to be honest. The frames are, are not are not very optimized here. Your boy's, your boy's got a pretty good rig. And the fact that this is not running is, is kind of insane to me. Oh, my gosh. I'm just trying to get out. There's an invisible wall there. I'm just trying to get out of the grass, please. Thank. I can't get back on the road. We'll be there too. <laughs> Bro, this is so ridiculous. I think there's invisible barriers where you can't. <laughs> I 
we're stuck. We can fast travel back to the station. Okay. An accident occurred involving free roaming animals on the roadway. We were first on scene and take down details of the accident. You want to start this mission? The vehicle and time of day will change automatically. All right, here we go. A specialty mission. Calling Foxtrot 1. Foxtrot 1. A report has come in about animals running loose on the motorway. Understood. We'll head over there and check. Calling Foxtrot 1. Foxtrot 1. I have more detailed information for you now. Okay. According to the caller, a herd of cows is <laughs> That's where the petty cows comes from. It looks like there are quite a few of them. A herd of cows have escaped onto the motorway. <laughs> Look at all the heads moving in unison. <laughs> They've got one animation, maybe two. Reach for the grass and shake your head. Somebody's getting tailgated. Oh no, don't do it. You've got so much to live for. You can't become hamburger ma <gasps> No, the- Hey! That's my boot, you- No, you can be- You can be A5 Wagyu, man! Come on! Don't do it! What are you doing? You can't- <laughs> Jeez! Watch out! That's- Just some woman driving way below motorway speed. I was gonna say that- Okay. <laughs> Dude, I've I've literally got tears. What is happening? And it started playing like mariachi music. Calling what? Fox truck one. The case has just become more urgent. The animals have caused an accident. Oh no! How many people are involved? Unknown. How far away are you? I'm here. We're almost there. We'll get back to you. Don't you worry. We got cows in the road, baby. Oh, it wants me to park over on the side. All right, long as I don't hit hit our friends here. What are we going to do with the animals? Let's just make sure we don't provoke them. The best thing to do is to secure the accident scene first. Can I go pet the cow first? Petting the cow was a, a part of our... <laughs> Bro, what is this game? <laughs> Sorry, sir, in the upside down vehicle. I'm just out here petting the cows. These are very good boys and girls. We've got some somebody's over there, some hiker or something. Can I pet you too? How you doing? How you doing, girl? Good. Are you girl? Yeah, you're good. Good, good mama. Good mama. All right. Let me uh we've got a, a backed up traffic jam here. Let me let me go ahead and grab our cones. I'm assuming we're going to place these out here. Put one right there. I'm not sure all the people out here could you know, see that there are cows in the road, but at least we got it blocked off now. Gonna go into photo mode. When a subject turns green, you can photograph it. We're trying to take some, some evidence. Alright. That's a great shot right there. Hold for me here. Hold for me. Boom. Look at that. Just beautiful. Love it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a photo of the car. We've got this vehicle we want to take a photo of. I'm assuming... Tire tracks? Is the broken fence up here? I don't see a broken fence. There's the broken fence on this side. Okay, this is a nice photo right here. I would hang this on my wall, so I'm just going to snap that one for my personal collection. Ah, the pieces on the ground. Okay, I got it. Beautiful. Sketch of the accident. You can, can reconstruct it. Take our images. And we're going to place these. So we're going to get this up here. And then this one is somewhere... Ah, I see. I thought the gray was where we were supposed to place it, but this is that the gray's the road. That makes sense. I, I sat there messing around with that for forever. Okay. So questioning participants. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. It's good that you're finally here. What happened here? This fellow here happened. It's a miracle that no one was seriously injured. I assume he drove up very close behind you? Close? I thought he had the devil on his tail. His jostling made me totally nervous. And he was on Did the phone. Did you see how the accident happened? No, unfortunately not. I only heard the crash shortly after this fellow overtook me, and then there were suddenly cows all around me. <laughs> we will find out exactly what happened. 
Don't worry. How you doing, sir? Can you tell me what was what was happening here? How'd these Hello. cows get here? How's your Weiss, car right? upside down? Can you tell me exactly what happened? You bet I can. Well, I'm, I'm rushing to an important meeting, and suddenly this creature is standing in front of me. Rushing, so, huh? You crashed because of the cows? How exactly did that happen? <laughs> well, how do you think? The stupid cow was standing there in front of me. I was scared to death and yanked the steering wheel around. <laughs> cows don't just suddenly appear out of nowhere. We'll ask you a few questions, and then we're sure to learn more. Okay. Um, how fast were you going, I sir? I think you were going too fast, and then suddenly you appeared in front of the cows. The poor animals must have been on the road before you arrived. Speeding often leads to accidents. Are you trying to tell me that it's my fault? Motorways are built for high-speed travel, aren't they? If there is no speed limit, this is true. However, your aggressive driving may have led to the accident. I was not driving aggressively! I don't like the whole thing. Something tells me that we haven't heard the whole truth yet. But we can't get any more out of him now. Hopefully, when he's questioned again at the police station, he'll tell us the whole story. The animals belong to a certain Janina Neudorf. The station has contacted her. She should be here shortly. Okay. All right. And what do we do with the cows in the meantime? We send them back where they came from. Wrangle sure, them up, baby. Because such a huge cow will definitely listen to us. You're not supposed to ask them. You're supposed to shoo them. But maybe it'll help if you flatter them. You have such a beautiful voice, they'll listen to you for sure. I don't remember reading this in the job description. Okay, so now we're wrangling cows. Here we go. Come on, fellas. Let's let's get back up there. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> you can straight push them. I don't feel like push. pushing a cow is a very good idea, but here hey, we are. Move. <laughs> Dude, hops, baby. These these Heifers should be playing some basketball. I'm on a shot clock. I just realized I've got a timer up there, dude. We've got a minute and 20 seconds to get the cows back in the pasture. Come on. I feel like my partner could maybe help out a little bit more. You can do it. This is stressful. 50, 50 seconds. Come on. You're getting off course. You're Push. getting off course here. Come on. You guys are beautiful. Just get back to your pasture. There's plenty of grass up there. All right. We, we narrowly made it. This is the most ridiculous game of all time. You want me to fix the fence, too? I'm just glad they're happy and safe. I'm glad that he didn't hit that one cow. At least we got that going for us. Mrs. Newdorf, we've been waiting for you. Can you please explain us why your cows were walking across the motorway? Oh, dear God, this can't be true. How did that happen? Tell us. Surely the cows didn't work it out all on their own how to get out of the field. Looks like the bird maintenance there to me. Either. It's a mystery to me how the cows escaped. Well, there must be some reason. Think about it a little and then come round to the station in the next few days to make a statement. Well, uh, thanks for your help anyway. Look at the one in the background trying to get out of here. the cows would have gone otherwise. <laughs> all right. Objects on the road are traffic hazards, so we're going to have to go pick them up. Press A to get the broom from your trunk. Clearly visible piles can be swept away. Got our broom now. You know, for a game that is a little rough around the edges, I do appreciate that there's still a little bit of residue left even after you sweep it. Oh, it looks like it kind of goes away. At first, there's some residue, though. You see the green that's left? Oh, it disappears. Put the broom back in there. I'm going to take our vest off. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Place these back in the boot. And I believe we are, uh... We are good to go. Okay. Okay. Let the, uh, the paramedics do their job, check in on everyone, make sure he's okay, and let's ride on out of here. Back at the station here, baby, and uh, that is going to be a wrap on our first day back on the job. We went on a high-speed chase, we were able to recover a stolen vehicle, and we even got a chance to pet some cows. So, uh, there you guys have it. That is Autobahn Police Simulator 3. Kind of interesting. I don't know. It, it's a little rough around the edges for sure, but it's also kind of fun. So if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. I'm not sure this is going to be a full series, but I'd be down to check it out and, and see what we can make of it. I don't know how deep this is going to go, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely, definitely interesting. Drop a like if you guys want more. Leave a comment down below with what you think. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.